Now we continue with part 2 of linear programming graphical solution. Drawing the graph. What is important in drawing the graph is that we have to draw the constraints. To draw the constraints, we set each constraint equal to the right hand side. For example, flower 3C plus 8B equals 20. Now to draw any graph, we need two points. To get these two points, we set one of them equal to zero. So we say, when C equals zero, this would imply, if C equals zero, three times zero is zero, it means that 8B equals 20 means that b equals two and a half or 20 over 8 which will be two five two and a half so what we can do from here is we draw a little table a t table and we put c and b what this says is when c equals zero b equals two and a half okay now we do the same thing now the other way. When B equals zero, this becomes zero. This would imply that three C equals 20. C equals 20 over three, which is six and two thirds. So again, we say when B equals zero, C equals six and two thirds. We do now the same for baking time. We set 45C plus 30B equal to 180. When C equals zero, this would imply that 30B equals 180. B equals 180 over 30, 6. When B equals 0, this would imply that 45C equals 180. This would imply that C equals 180 over 45. We go like this. 9 goes into this 5, 9 goes into that 20, C equals 4. Again, we draw a table. We have our C and B again. Now for this line here, C equals 0, B equals 6, B equals 0, C equals 4. Now we plot a graph with these points. Now that we have our points, this is for flour, this is baking time. We use graph paper and set our, in this case, C and B. It's up to you, you can put B here and C here. You can reverse it, it's not a problem. You set your scale, then you plot the coordinates. In this case here, C equals zero, B equals two and a half. This one says C equals six and two thirds. B equals zero. This is this point here. Now we draw that graph, that line. This is a rough sketch. Now I'm going to use another color to plot the next graph. When C equals zero, here, B equals six, this is this point. When C equals four, B equals zero. It's that point. We draw another graph line here. No. You have to draw it accurately. I'm just doing a sketch. 
okay now this is your baking time and the other one is your flour okay your next step after this is to determine now this is a straight line for baking time but remember that your constraint said less than or equal to that less than or equal to refers to the region under the graph in both cases they were less than or equal to it refers to this area here what we are going to do we are going to shade the opposite area that we require in this case here of baking time the area that we need is this area here so we shade opposite now this is very important when we shade opposite look what happens now I'm going to shade now opposite on the other one now when you shade opposite what you will find is that you have a distinct white area this white area is called your feasible region now we label it A B C and D this is your feasible region these are your corner points or extreme points now we have to answer the question to answer the question we would have to draw this to scale draw our lines accurately shade the region then from the graph itself work out each coordinate of these particular points this is now the last step we now solve this is a corner point method now this is point A, point B, point C, point D these are the coordinates for point A now C here means this C and B here means this point now what is point A? point A is here which is 0, C and 0, B 0, 0 now point B point B is 0, B which is here 0, B and 4, C again this is representing C this is representing B now this point here is 0, 0 0, C, 0, B point B now is 0, B which is here, 0 and 4, C which is here let's look at D D is 0, C which is here and 3, B which is here now this one here what we need to do is to dot the line across to the C dot the line down to see where this point is now this point here even though mine is a sketch shows that it is cutting just at 3 and a quarter and this is cutting at 1 and 7.5 now from your graph you will find the exact marking where this intersects so in this particular case here B sorry point C is 1 point seven five B and in this case here three point two five C once we have these values here we go back to the next we go now to the next step we know that point A was zero zero how much profit would we make if we sold zero bread and zero cakes we will make zero profit now in this case of B 
we are selling four cakes and zero bread. Using the objective function, that would be 10 times 4 plus 6 times 0, which would be 0 here, 40 here, which is $40 you would make if you sold four cakes and zero bread. Now, in this case here, we have 10 times 3.25 plus 6 times 1.75 and this would give us 10 by this 32.50 now 6 fives at 30 9.50 so our total here would be $43 profit now this point here says 10 times 0 plus 6 times 3 for 3 bread that you sell this is a total of $18 now from this we see the one with the highest profit is point C which says sell 3.25 cake and 1.75 bread and you will have a maximum profit of $43 now after solving this we write it into words our solution is we should sell 3.25 cakes 1.75 bread giving us a total profit of $43 this is how you solve a linear programming question, um, linear programming question, graphical solution. Thank you.